Well, good afternoon. Um, it's Saturday today and very, very hot as well. Um, yeah, we've, today we've just come to Dreamland in Margate. Um, it's just had a, a complete re-theme recently. It's had a lot of new landscape and a couple of new rides. First, before we get in the park, I just want to say, this main car park here is really expensive. It was, uh, it was 10, 10 pounds for four hours. So it's now, as you can see there, um, 10 past one. So we've only got till, well, just gone past five o'clock. And I will try and stop saying, um, because the last- yes, I keep telling it. Yeah. Yeah, my last one at Thorpe Park was um, 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 and it got, got even, I got quite annoyed with that, yeah. So I'll just get the bag checked, obviously, added security here at the park. The uh, I'll show you around, I don't think we will be going on much today, really. Not too sure about a wristband, but it is free to enter the park. We'll have a look around, and today it's really hot and sunny. Okay. Right. Yeah, no Cheers, guys. Cheers. Uh, this area here is brand new, like a new themed area they've got the caterpillar's been rethemed that was at the other end of the park and it's now like a bee in a beehive you've got the stunning scenic here you see there dreamland so we actually did come not long after it opened in 2015 and you had to get a, a wristband to get inside the park and the scenic wasn't wasn't running then it was literally just a few weeks after they reopened again so we didn't bother we came back the weekend after that and then we also came at Christmas as well, so to see like the whole park, a few more rides, a few POVs, go and check out the one um, last year that we did in December when we came at Christmas. But this is all new here. I'll show you the stuff that's new. That looks quite good. But the scenic's absolutely stunning. One of the most prettiest roller coasters in the UK. There's a guy up there, I've always told that it's not running at the moment. It's um, it's very temperamental, it, it, it does break down quite a lot and I did mention that in the last vlog when we came at Christmas, it, it's got a lot of problems. It is one of the old, well it is the oldest coaster in the UK but it's technically the newest as well now because the whole ride is all brand new wood and all new um, steel supports you can just see here. Um, and then last year as well, the wire cable, there's two lift hills on it. They had problems with the wire cable, obviously it didn't pass it in it, its inspection and they needed a new wire, but to get the new wire they had to splice it and do something with it, but yeah. So we'll get in the park, have a walk around. Like I say, we might not bother getting some tickets, but this is just because I wanted to do, I wanted to come here, wanted to do the vlog because it's, it's been redone again. As you can check it out here, this is all brand new. It looks like old, um, illumination signs and things like that looks nice doesn't it lisa okay, yeah. yeah this nice. used to have the turnstiles and the booths just here but this is all new old like lisa said old school style so it's all like old signs and things so this is looking very nice there is a concert tonight as well actually maximo parker playing tonight um that's all right so we walked in anyway the guys said we had to get the bag checked again so we'll just see the changes Show you what's new. Yeah, beautiful. About 27 degrees today here. Are we in the UK? In the in the UK, it feels like we're in California, doesn't it? Yeah, just a bit. It does. And you want to see the beach as well. I've never. I was just saying to Lisa as we drove into Margate. I've never seen so many people on a beach I have. in my life. I mean, I know Morecambe and Blackpool used to get busy in the heydays, but you, we'll we'll have a walk on the promenade and we'll show you in a bit. So you got a lot of classic rides here. The park did actually open in 1880 so it's one of the oldest theme park amusement parks in the country if not the world like I said the scenic did open a long time ago as well I'll, I'll try and get the, the full date of that that looks like it's been freshly painted up again that was having some work on it when we came last time And there's some bands and stuff on tonight. All this bit area over here is all brand new, all the grass. The whole, well, actually the whole area, they, they closed it. Again, so since it reopened in 2015, this is the second time that they've, they've actually done it in two years. All this is brand new, all this area. Looks nice, doesn't it, Lisa? Get Lisa, get some pictures for us. 
Well, this is lovely. It used to have like um, a little hut with food stalls and stuff over here. But now, as you can see here, they've actually got like a seating, a seating area there. It's all, it's all real grass. It's all been landscaped. And grass there. You can't really make that out. It's too, too light. But yeah, they've got some bands on this weekend. It actually opened um, yesterday. So today is a Saturday, like I say, the 27th of May. It'll be Dad's birthday tomorrow. So happy birthday, Dad, for tomorrow. Wow, look at it. So the whole back end of the park's been redone as well. They've got the magic, the magic mouse at the back there. A bit controversial because it was in the local paper. A woman who lives in that apartment at the back was complaining about how close the coaster was to her, her room. You might have seen that. But the magic mouse, that was the fantasy mouse at uh, Fantasy Island. So, yeah, that's the old, the old fantasy mouse. They've got the new one now, there now. So there's a few bands. I think Maximo Park's playing in there tonight, but you've got to get tickets for that. These are all new. That's lovely, that. Oh, they do your pizza. The pizzas are back. Lisa, pizzas are back. Yeah, I'm on last time because we had uh, fish and chips and that, and it wasn't very good, was it? It was awful, wasn't it? And I did say then they should bring the pizzas back. They got them there. What's that? Marble room. Oh yeah, marble room. What's this? Oh wow, it's like an art installation. Woo! Hey, amazing. Marvellous marble run. I hope you can hear me alright. Yeah, it's like an art installation. It's all it's all closed off though, obviously. You turn, turn obviously you turn like the wheel, the ball goes up there, and it'll come out the track and goes round. That's really cool, is that? Uh, the marvellous marble run, kinetic rolling ball sculpture. It's Thank both you, complex and simple. Uh, hand turned mechanical beginning. So there's all these different, that's really clever is that. There's a, there's a loop just here, obviously it's, it's not working because they've, they've taped it all up. But there's another handle there, so there's two, two different tracks. Quite excited really. Not really bothered about going on the rides, we've done them all before. It's a shame about the scenic. Uh, I did say earlier, it's, it's quite temperamental really. It's a, this is the second time we've been now and it's been closed. But if you want to check out the POVs, just, just look at my other vlogs. I have got a full POV of the ride, front row ride, down below. But it was taken on my iPhone, not on the GoPro. So I wanted to get the GoPro footage for you. A few kids rides, everything is old, like old classic rides though. And they've all got like the names on these boards. I was thinking about it, I don't even know where the uh, cash box is to get your wristbands. I haven't seen one. Oh, look at this old Brooklyn Speedway thing here. That old um, old bumper car style thing. Oh, it's really hot today. Every, uh, every seaside town will be busy today. Let's have a look at this. It's hot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Wow, look at that. Classic ride that, like uh, it's pretty much like a scale extra set. So you got the electrified metal runs in the floor, and you can see the bottom of the car that runs off the uh, when it touches it. Oh, yeah, cool. You could tell it's new as well. They've redone it. Oh, it smells new. They've got all these benches down everywhere. Lisa's uh, going around taking pictures of things. Um, it's not it's not totally finished though. You can see over here where that uh, yellow hoarding is there. That's all getting redone up as well. If you go on, if you go on Google searches and Google uh, Dreamland Margate, there's actually concept pictures of what it's going to look like when it's when it's fully finished. I think they just wanted to get it open today because it's bank holiday and the nice weather as well. But yeah, that all that area over there is getting redone as well. They all got are the old classic Helter Skelter here. Don't think I've ever actually been on a Helter Skelter. Mirror Maze is still there, which is in the containers. That's been moved. Um, 
don't know what the decking's for, I think it's just a viewing platform there. That's all brand new. Like I said, the Magic Mouse, that's been relocated. That was at Fantasy Island in Ingo Mells. So we've been on there, so that's not like it's a coaster credit or anything. But here you had the old classic ghost train. So all this is all brand new. Looks good, but it still looks like it could do with a bit of tidying up, a bit of finishing up. It looks better though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I don't think they're finished. No, they're not, are they? No. Because <laughs> at the back, I was just saying, at the back of here, it's all built like a building yard there. That's all getting redone. There's another stage going up. There's all these gardens and trees and landscaping going up as well. Oh, classic Dodgems. This was at the other end. You didn't really rate them, did you? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, the uh, Magic Mouse is walk on. But, no, I'll just, I'll, I'll just walk to the end of it. I'll just show you how close it is to these houses or these apartments. And it was all over Facebook as well. People were going, oh, yeah, I'd love to, you know, live next to a, an amusement park. And people were moaning like, well, at the end of the day, the park here was, was here before they built these apartments. Well, yeah, look how close it is. I don't know what their name is, I'd, I'd give her a shout. <laughs> One of the women, young women that lives up there, but yeah, look how close that is. <laughs> See, we'd like an apartment yeah. right next to it. It'd yeah, be good. it'd be it'd lovely. Be Just quickly hop in and go and have a quick ride. Yeah, why not? And go and cook the dinner. Well, this is all brand new tarmac area here, so yeah, like I said, if you go on Google Maps and you have a look, there is images of what it's going to look like when it's finished. Um, put my bag on my shoulders. Well, I'm not carrying it. Don't leave home without it now. I love these little little bags, drawstring bags. You put all sorts of stuff in it. I love it too. That means you can carry my stuff. Yeah, Yay. great. Well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Thought Park vlog. It was just a quick one, really. I actually thought I'd get on a, a few more rides than just the few that I did. But it was quiet. Stealth broke down, you know. It's all right. I got you a few good POVs, some new ones for the channel oh, as well. Yeah, uh, she had to go back to work. I'd actually got the day off because uh, obviously when they drive me crane and that, I'm on my own there. There's no relief driver or anything like that. If you're on a bigger job, you get relief drivers that can cover you while you need to go to the doctors or whatever. So they have to get another driver in to cover me. So, and where I'm working, it's in the middle of nowhere. Well, I've got a few days off, a few weeks. Yeah, I'll have a walk up here, might as well. A few weeks' time, we're going back to Fantasyland for my birthday. That's all sorted. We managed to get car hire and stuff now. But paying the ass, they all want a thousand pound deposit. And before your comments say, oh, yeah, we always pay, we, you don't, because this is the first time that we'd have to pay for it. Apart from Barcelona. Barcelona, yeah, but we went to. Started. Yeah, we went to Europa Park last year. We had, had a brand new Ford Focus ST. Didn't have to pay a deposit. Oh, it's just the bar. Ooh, very nice. And they got Jack Daniels there. Oh, lovely. It's nice. Nice little uh, viewing platform as well. See the magic mouse is just here as well. Yeah, there was just a just a bar over there basically, that's all it is, and just a, a seating area here. We just had a couple of pictures. It is a bit of a sun trap really, yeah. Uh, we're just saying uh, between ourselves, I don't think we're bothered with a wristband because it doesn't seem like anything's running really. I don't think the magic mouse is running. The um, scenic's definitely not running. I, there's a guy still on the lift hill sorting that out. So we just literally just come for a look of little look around really. A shame to be honest, it is looking better, yeah, but it's not, it's not finished. My subscribers are going through the roof again <laughs> nearly 3,700, probably on that now, anyway. And by the time the uh, the vlogs all be way past that, it's crazy. A lot of staff just seem to be just standing around, not doing a lot, really. So hot today. It was a bit of a nightmare getting here really, the uh, the traffic was horrendous. This is all new, all around here, it's all new. Speakers, I think they were there last year, I remember them. <laughs> Ooh, walking in front of her. Do -do -do -do. Uh, 
Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of land there for extra stuff. I don't think there's any more rides going in there or anything. I think it's just more gardens and things. Another stage. I don't really know what else to say, really. I've run out of words. It's a nice day, though. Shame about the scenic. It is a it is a good ride. If you've not been to do it yet, I, I suggest coming out and giving it a go. It's a fantastic coaster. Really smooth as well. Just a shame it's closed quite a lot. Got to try and get you some footage of it. There's a little shop there, self sweets. Oh yeah, tea cups. Yeah, this is new. Bit of grass there. That was there. I think I was over here though. Stunning coaster. The train as well is uh, really nice. Obviously, the brake man as well sits on the seat there. So pretty much like the roller coaster that we went to at Great Yarmouth. Very similar to that, same sort of track system. It's like a scenic railway, it doesn't, you know, there's no airtime much on it. It just sort of glides over the track, really, it just sits on it. It's like it just sits on rails. Yeah, teacups there now. Little chairs thing over there. Scenic. Very nice. That's new, Dreamland Dark. I think that's got animals in it. Yeah. Yeah, I read up on that one before we came, so that's 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 added. That's new. I think they actually spent about 10, 10 million pounds again doing it up. I mean to be honest, it didn't really need it, it was just, it was actually fine as it was. Um yeah. We've got a t-shirt last time I came. Shame about the scenic again, you can see the guys sat up there. Ferris wheels going round. Huh? Waving. <laughs> on YouTube now, mate. Watch yourself on Tally. There he is, waving. On YouTube now. <laughs> He's on the Tally. Toilets, they've been added. I don't know what's up with this music. Oh, really hot. Sweating. No, we're not going to stay in the sun all day. Yeah. And this is new again. Bit of grass. Is it fake? Or real? Is it? Yeah. It's a soft astro. Oh, it's the uh, the fake stuff. Yeah. Astro turf. Yeah. Nice little caravan thing selling, what was it? Candy Floss popcorn. And this is new. Well, it's not new. I said this was earlier. This was up at the other end of the park, but they've rethemed it all. Re been repainted. It was a caterpillar, but now it's uh, it's done a like a bee. It's still it's, 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 You prefer the bee? Like bees. Yeah, she likes bees. Got like a beehive thing in the middle here. Just added extra, so you can see where they spent the money. And it is obviously still a caterpillar, but it just looks like a like a bee. Here we go. So if there's anyone else that like parks and stuff today, I hope you're all having a good day. <laughs> Isn't it? Just giving it a push. That's, uh, that's about it really, that's it Dreamland. Yeah? Oh, looking doors, yeah, there's the old Penny Arcade and that inside. We'll have a look in there. I don't know why I bothered getting four hours parking, to be honest, I don't think we'll be here that long. Oh, geek shot there for you underneath the, tra underneath the train. Yeah. We'll walk towards the exit now and have a look around there, show you inside the... Um, I think you can actually walk through that bit. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, so it's the exit here. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was like this, I'm just saying it was a, it was a dead end here. 
But you can get quite close to the track as well now. It's a shame it's not running. It is a good coaster, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it is actually, yeah. If you reach out and touch that, that should be all fenced off. Well, like I did say earlier, if you haven't been to Dreamland in Margate, come and check it out. It is a fair distance. It took us nearly three hours to get here. It should have been just off, just over two. Well, if you come on a quiet day, obviously not a bank holiday, if you come on a quiet day, then, you know, then you shouldn't have any problems. We came at Christmas and it was dead. Really nice though. So we're back to where we were. It's a very small park, but it's quite artsy and retro. I think that turns around. I think someone just, yeah, it does. It's got a handle on it for turning. Let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, I my mean, little GoPro, people saying about the GoPro. Faster, faster. Is it? Yeah. Woo! Wow. Got all the uh, the lights off it. Cool. Oh, so there was this spinny mirror art installation thing over there. Back at the entrance again, yeah, it looks really good actually. And we just did notice there isn't actually any ticket booths anymore. When we came last year, if you see from the old vlog, there was about four ticket booths just here at the entrance. The oh yeah, the lamp. Where yeah. the sun sets. Yeah, shows you different things. Over, over there. Well, the um, building you just see here, it's the old cinema and ballroom. They're all getting redone as well. We'll go into the arcade and show you around the arcade and the uh, roller disco that's in here and you must have to buy your um, oh yeah, tickets here now you have to come in here to get your wristbands and things I actually know the prices bless you <laughs> there's your roller disco you see all these um, yeah, I still haven't done the roof, it's got holes in it all the way down where it's all just rotted away. But it was closed, Dreamland was closed down for quite a bit actually. I think, I don't, I'm not too sure about the years, but it was it was closed, closed for a long time. So you got the roller disco there, the use of some lasers and things. Sickness Reg and I probably plan production. Hey, there you go. Lisa's vending machine services. Other brands are available. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> um, over here, there's the Octopus Garden. It's like a kids' play area, so I can't really go in there and film. You got some machines and things. Sorry, guys. I don't know. We probably put on the title. Oh yeah, great vlog from Dreamland, but it's yeah. Sorry, it's it's got to be not very long. Just basically just showing you what's new. If you want to come and you, then you know what, what it's all about. We're actually, walk, actually walking out of the park now. You got arcades and stuff in here. Toilets over there. Some more vending machines. I was just thinking then about the uh, the Magic Mouse. It would have been nice if they could get the old. No, the shop's gone. Yeah, that used to be a merch shop. It would have been nice if they could get the old um, Runaway Mine Train, the Wild Mouse, or King Solomon's Mines that used to be at Frontierland and Southport. It would have been good if they could get that here, but apparently it's in a bad state in a warehouse somewhere. So we're walking out of the park. I'll show you a bit of footage of the beach. Oh, it's like a bit of a museum, though. Got pubs all shut down. They do a really good scare event here. Charlotte and Sean from Theme Park Worldwide, they came and they said it was fantastic. One of their Dead best. They said it was the best, best one they've ever done. There, there are some signs for it there. Dead and Breakfast and the final court entrance. So the scare mazes were in there. 
and then the mirror maze that's inside the park that was a scare maze as well and a big big circus tent thing so yeah dreamland so still a bit to go yet they've done all the all the neon signs have been done up we'll wait until you see this beach look at that three abreast health and safety and i've seen belts on that one look at the fear on it <laughs> like he's got a, a fat yeah he's the brake man he's got a he's got a cigarette in his mouth <laughs> some of the old rides wow crazy yeah a bit really of old. bit of vlog bombing going on in the background there he's, he's, <laughs> he's got <a> fighting look <laughs> love these old classic parks what's this one? Oh, hitting the uh thing with the hammer the guys with the Got all the uh, like mods, aren't they? Yeah. With the suits on. Yeah, ready to do ya. I was actually thinking about more information to give you on the way down here, but I always forget. I turn the camera on, I always forget what to tell you. So this is the new. All the signs been redone. Yeah, it does look better. So the old cinema still still not open yet, but they're working on it. Yeah, so just across the road, you have the beach. Look at the amount of people on here. I have literally, honest to God, I've never seen so many people on a beach before. It actually feels like we're in Spain or somewhere in America. It's, it's so hot today, isn't it? Really hot. Got sun cream on and everything. You can smell there's a bar grill thing here. You can smell the barbecue. It does smell good, doesn't it? It's good, yeah. And some good more idea. rides and things down there for the kids. Really nice beach here as well. Believe it or not, Margate. I think it. I think it was last year. They actually won an award for the best seaside town in the UK. I'll tell you what there isn't. It what? Silver bottles. Oh uh, yeah, them canisters. Uh, it's probably from like a Nerf gun, or a BB gun or something. No, it's not. It is. It's but not. It's it, from those it is. It's from a <coughs> BB gun. The streets after yeah, it's clubs. really kids have been sniffing a minute. Stay off drugs, kids. Yeah, uh, jet ski over there. But yeah, like I just said then, Margate actually won an award for the for the best seaside town in the UK. There isn't actually much here to be honest. There's a nice um, art gallery up there. I think it's a Turner gallery. And then you've got obviously the Dreamland just at the back of there, but it's still as a town itself, it still needs a lot of work doing to it. Yeah, encourage more people coming. But look at it here, this is it's rammed. Hashtag rammed. El Ramo. El Ramo. There were lifeguards in there like Baywatch. With, the with his quad, a little red quad. Quite a random vlog is this one really. <laughs> oh, yeah, arcades and things, nice shot of the Ferris wheel there. I was the other thing I was going to say. Yeah, we stopped off at the services on the way, and um, the guy dressed up as a uh, as a bear for help the hero. So I got you know a band, put some money in the machine in I the in the bucket. It. You did, yeah. Got a couple of pin you badges as well. Too, of course, we always give a bit of money to charity, to animals and things like that. We, we do. Not much else to film really. It's just these things down here. Here they've got a summer of music dreamline my gate gorillas so that's a big lineup two to the main halls one for the mods there some uh, really good bands coming uh, this one is faithless DJ set 
Well, like I said at the moment, they've got Maximo Park playing tonight. I'm not sure about the time. I think it's later on today. You need tickets. Um, yeah, we're going back into the park. Have a little walk around again, and then, like I said, we're going. Well, just a bit more information about the place. Oh, the Scenic's running now. Hey! Scenic's working now. Uh, yeah, a bit more information about the park. Like I said earlier, the park did open in uh, 1880 and the scene it opened in 1920, make it, making it the oldest in the UK. Yeah, people dancing up at the top. That's really cool, is that? And people up there, hey! The really good staff here as well, they all get dressed up for special occasions and things. Yeah, it's really good. Get yourselves out here. Come and support the park. If it doesn't, if it doesn't do well for the rest of the year, it's going to struggle. Right, well since the scenic's running, I did say earlier that we were just going to have a walk around and we're going, we've ended up getting some ride tokens. Right, now what they do is now, do this card system, so we put money on it, it was a fiver each, just for the scenic, a fiver, and then it was £3.50 for the ferris wheel and £4 for the mouse, so I'll be doing, we've got a ride each on the scenic, Probably got about a two hour. Hey, you alright? Hi, some fans there. Yeah, hey, you're on the vlog now. <laughs> a few people have already spotted me here. I was taking a picture of Lisa run up to us. Some guy in a grey t shirt, old block, just said, Is Andy here? <laughs> so. Is he? So, yeah, uh, doing the scenic. Probably about a two hour queue for this. Do the Ferris wheel. Yeah, it does get busy. And then uh, do the mouse. So I'll get your POV on this. I've only got f about a few minutes left of footage left on the SD card. Car park, actually. Yeah, car park's at five. So we'll do this and then uh, get your POV. Well, we got on the uh, scenic. Uh, it took us about what, about half an hour, didn't it? Really, half an hour. Uh, I forgot to mention as well earlier. Wristbands are nineteen pound at the door, but if you book online, they're sixteen quid. Or you can just pay for a per attraction, and stick on your card. One thing, one, uh, one thing I'm not keen about are these trains. This side bit here. Um, it's not just a lap bar, but it's also a seat belt as well. Don't really need it. Beautiful day today though. We're getting on the Ferris wheel after here. Here we go. Yeah. 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 Very smooth coaster is this. This beach just over there. If you want to see uh, a front row POV, just check out. I have got a front row POV on the channel. We'll be just doing the one ride today. Here we go. Magic Mouse in a bit after this. Huh? Oh. Second lift hill. Oh. Yeah, I just met a few fans of the channel, some guy, I can't remember his name, but if you're watching, hey, uh, nice meeting you. Get yourselves 
out here coming around this classic coaster. 1920. Uh, it was burned down in about 2005, I think it was. After it got burned down, they rebuilt the whole track. Here we go again. This is the steepest bit. photographer up there <laughs> last bit last dip now into the station it does run two trains it does run two trains the second trains in that shed here oh you can see it in there that's it such a beautiful ride like I said earlier if you haven't come Come and check it out. It's a really nice coaster. Right, unfortunately, you can see there the queue for the Magic Mouse is massive. I, I want to go on it. I've, I've paid four pound on me on me thing to get on it, but Lisa's just saying we just haven't got enough time to do that and and the Ferris wheel and get to back to the car park. Um, I've got the car, it'll probably last, so we'll come back and use it again. And it's not like I haven't got the coaster credit anyway. It's it's just I've done it loads of times. It's it's just the old Fantasy Mouse that was at Fantasy Island. But yeah, the Scenic Railway is such a classic coaster. It, well, it's an original classic coaster, beautifully rebuilt. Um, yeah, really good. The brand new trains on it and everything. It's such a lovely coaster, really smooth. It's just a nice ride, really. Just wish they didn't have the seat belts because it actually takes quite a long time to get the get the train dispatched. But other than that, it's it's lovely and it looks beautiful as well. It's probably one of the nicest looking coasters. And there it goes again. So we'll go around do the Ferris wheel, get a bit of footage of there, and then uh, that's it. We're calling it a day. I haven't actually got much memory left on my SD card. I didn't want the vlog to be too long as it was anyway. We did the extra footage of uh, Margate itself. I might cut a bit of that out and just try and focus on the dreamland itself but yeah very nice again and i'll repeat myself again if you haven't been here before come and check it out come and support the park because in the winter times it is actually open throughout the year blue or not but um yeah in quiet times there's not enough, enough people here to justify having the park open really we came at christmas time it was it was dead it was quiet and uh, the park, like I said earlier, did open in 1880. It just used to be a walled garden, really. All the original walls are still there. Uh, just like a walled garden, really. I think this is real grass. Yeah, that's real That's real grass. The other bits are uh, fake. And that's the stage where Maximo Park's playing tonight. Over 7 o'clock. And it is a ticketed event, so the park will close and then reopen again for that. It looks like they're setting up for the uh, support act. So we'll go over now to the, uh, the classic Ferris wheel. Beautiful views up here. Oh <laughs> yeah, last time we came, if you remember watching the uh, the Christmas vlog, it, it was foggy, wasn't it? it, it oh, God, yeah. yeah, foggy, we couldn't, couldn't see a thing, we could see the lights on everything. It's like eerie. Yeah, but you can see the park has extended a bit. All that area at the back, that's being redone as well. Uh, there is some stands and things down there, I can see extra seating and things. Well, that's the steps just to get up there. well repainted all these some of these bars when we came last time they they were on yeah lovely day 
It's just a bit hot for my liking. I'm not. I'm not good with the heat. He really isn't. I'm not. No. no <laughs> we went to Tunisia a few years ago. As soon as I got off the plane, I'm like, what the hell am I doing here? And I've done Florida before in the summertime with my parents. My God, no. That's just too. That's just too much for me. You gotta go later in the year. It's a bit cooler. So, yeah, very nice. I think you get a couple of laps on this one. I won't film it all. So that was it, we've done the Ferris wheel. What do you think to that one, Lisa? Oh, I like the Ferris wheel. It's a good one, isn't it? It's a nice Ferris wheel. They only got a couple of laps on that one. Um, about £2.50 a go, I think it was, wasn't it? Or was it three? £3.50. Three fifty a go for that one. Yeah, that's it, we're, we're going now. I haven't got long on the uh, car part left. I have got the last token for the um, for the Magic Mouse, but I'm not forced to have done, we've literally done hundreds of Revitron spinning coasters this year. But yeah, that was a lovely Ferris wheel. Didn't get much footage from there. I've, I've filmed it twice before already. But yeah, I, lo I like the, um, the classic rides. Very nice. What? Get an ice cream. We're an ice cream. No. Yeah. Should we get an ice cream? Yeah. We'll just add fizzy drink. But it's hot. Yeah, it is hot. But this is nice as well. Like uh, illuminations, that's what I was trying to say before. Yeah, like these things here are from like a lot of illuminations. Right. like. Eh? Oh, that's off a ride, yeah, the Sylvester. And the yeah. seahorse. Yeah, very nice, lovely that. If you do want tickets and things like that, like I said, it's all inside. But that's it, we've had a good day today. Uh, next vlog probably will be um, the uh, Fun Fair in Campbell Park in Milton Keynes. I hope you enjoyed the last ones this week. The Theme Park Worldwide meetup at Alton Towers went up. Uh, the POVs from Ferrari Lands on Red Force, and then obviously Thought Park as well. Yeah, it does. It looks very cool, does that? Very old school. Well, that's it. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, quite random vlog today. It hasn't been great deal in it in regards to the park, but it's just nice to come here, have a look around. Nice day. Had a look, walk down the promenade. So I'll see you again soon. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Bye for now. Woo.